Hello. Hi everyone. So in the previous video we learned about blinking and in today's video we will learn about multiple addressing of the GPIOs by creating multiple blinking applications or actually one application with multiple uh, digital output as a blinking configured. You will see how I'm configuring the pins, the pin setup, or how I'm setting up uh, the schematic, and you will see um, a better and more efficient way to address the pins if you are using the same concept, the same activity for, for the pins. So first of all, let's do the schematic in Tinkercad. And in Tinkercad, I will replicate uh, a couple of times the LEDs, creating the schematic and and connect to the Arduino Uno. And after then, it, it is coming the code part. Let me speed up over here the video just to uh, don't waste our time. And you can replicate easily. You, you will see it's not... So we have our simulated and our physical equipment setted and the schematics and the wiring made connected to the outputs and now let's work on a bit on the code part since we are reusing the original blinking application we have to add a few lines where we will configure the digital writes once they should be on with high and once should they should be off as low and we have to give the pin mode to the respective pin addresses. As a final result, if everything is correct, you should see that your LEDs are blinking. From the code structure itself, we already can see a pattern and to write a bit more efficient code, we could use uh, loops. Uh, in the setup and in the loop section, we can write two for loops, actually three for loops, uh, where we are configuring the pin mode, where we are configuring uh, the digital write as, um, as high 
we will put the delay back and we are creating also the third loop as as the digital right as low and we would have the same result with, with le more less lines of code and that would be more efficient so that's the end of the video please comment like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what could i do more efficiently in in the code itself